The first Broadway show to shut down because of the Omicron variant just delayed its reopening. Mrs. Doubtfire closed on January 10th and was supposed to reopen on March 15th, but producers say they're going to wait an extra month until April 14th, reportedly because producers want to wait for more tourists to come to New York and until families feel more comfortable returning to theaters. The queens of Six the Musical sharing their spotlight for a brief moment last night. Welcome to the Queendom of New York. Hello, everyone. I know that none of you paid your money to hear a politician speak, unless you thought you were in Hamilton by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was a good line. Governor Hochul <laughs> attending a performance of six at the Bernard B. <laughs> Jacobs Theater. She thanked the crowd for, quote, becoming part of New York's greatest comeback ever and supporting Broadway. Yeah, all these shows are coming back after a two-year hiatus. Elmo and Cookie Monster back in New York City with their show Sesame Street Live. Let's party. Last night, the classic characters of the show flipped the switch to light up the Empire State Building, red, blue, and yellow. Organizers say families are ready for entertainment after so many events were put on hold during the pandemic. We have a lot of interactive moments in the show too. So there's a lot of opportunities for you to get up and dance along with us, sing along to some of your favorite Sesame Street songs. Yay. Performances of Sesame Street Live will run through February 27th at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden.